So in this problem, what I'll do is the first thing I'm going to do is try to factor this. And by factoring my denominator, I can see that this factors down to x minus uh, x yep, plus 3 times x minus 1 over x plus 2. OK, but does anything simplify out? No, so we're good. So there's no holes, right? So my vertical asymptote is simply just setting my denominator equal to 0, and then solve. All you have to do. So I have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2. To find the horizontal asymptote, we have to compare the degrees. So I need to look at the degree. Trust me. This is, this is going over. Help. Help. Explaining. So here, we need to compare the degrees. You have a degree of the polynomial in the numerator, and you have a degree of the polynomial in the denominator. So we look at this, and we say, all right. I have a degree up here, which is 2, and a degree here is 1. So the degree in the numerator is greater than the degree in the denominator. Based on the horizontal asymptote test, whenever I have a degree in the numerator that's larger than the degree in the denominator, there is no horizontal asymptote. Okay. So when there's no horizontal asymptote, we want to check for our slant asymptote. And all we simply need to do to identify our slant asymptote is just, or to find our slant asymptote, is just to use long division. So now I'm just going to use long division, and my quotient, I'm going to set my quotient equal to y, and that's my slant asymptote. So how many times is x going to x squared? That's x times. x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. Subtract. Bring down the negative 3. X is not going to negative 3, so that's my remainder. But your remainder is always going to go to 0, so your slant asymptote is y equals x. And there you go. That was it. That's all you had to do. Okay.